You may be wondering why a gastroenterologist is so interested in restless leg syndrome. Well, it really started with a light bulb idea. And I think I've had some before, but never so bright and so exhilarating. I just went to a conference in 2005 when I heard about bacterial overgrowth and how important it was in conditions such as irritable bowel syndrome and fibromyalgia. When I took that home, I started thinking about a relative of mine who saw me for gastrointestinal problems, but also had a severe case of RLS, restless leg syndrome. I talked to him and asked him about it, and he did say that this condition started after an infection that he acquired when he was traveling. And I had just learned that post-infectious irritable bowel syndrome is a cause of one of the causes of irritable bowel syndrome and is caused by bacterial overgrowth in the small intestine. So then I started investigating restless leg syndrome, which is something you really don't learn much about in medical school. And I read about how fibromyalgia was very common to have restless leg syndrome as a factor in the condition. And so I put two and two together. I said, well, if somebody could have post-infectious irritable bowel syndrome and bacterial overgrowth, and that can be associated with fibromyalgia, and fibromyalgia can be associated with restless leg syndrome, can bacterial overgrowth and irritable bowel syndrome be associated with restless leg syndrome. This concept has led to several research studies over the last five years, and I'm happy to say that the research has paid off. I've helped many patients by treating their bacterial overgrowth, and I look forward to helping yours.